Hey y'all, it's me, Stop, Drop, and Roll On. I'm going to rest y'all right there because I got something that I need to talk about. I'm, I'm really actually mad. And, um, and at the same point in time, in all my whatever it is that I'm supposed to be, I'm actually grateful to God. And that's, that should be the first thing that I talk about because the more... I start thinking about being grateful, and then the madness dissipates. So I need to maintain the gratefulness, okay? Um, I got this hat on because I'm getting ready to go to the store, but then I decided I need to do this video because when I come back, I'm not going to be in the mood for it. Um, but I'm telling you, you don't have to believe what I'm saying. You don't. You really don't. I mean, that's not what, what it's about. I just know what I know, and I also know who I know, and I know who who I belong to, okay? Now, now that I done said all that stuff, and I don't mean it like stuff like it's fluff, I mean now that I done put that out there, here's the rest of the story. I ordered this from Amazon, yes, Amazon, and I keep, I've said this for years and over the years, and I know people be like, oh, here she go again. Yep, kind of, sort of, here I do go again. Y'all know how I feel about the word organic. I have said it on here more than once. Organic, labels, this, that, there, and the other don't mean really naughty da to me. The only time I know when something is, is organic or not organic is when I grew up myself. And truth be, matter, be told, even the little seeds can be... Uh, that you growing this stuff from uh, initially can be just some trash. You better be praying over your food. You better know who you believe in and 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 know that, you know, if you don't know Psalms 91, you probably want to read it and start confessing it over yourself and over your life. I'm just being for real. I bought this right here probably about it's been a while and for some reason i bought it and then and i say for some reason let me just break it on down holy spirit okay of god let me put the rest of that on there um and so for some reason i just didn't take a lot i mean somebody just text me take a lot of this because i don't know why but i bought this marker which is supposed to be the top of the line. Got a lot of reviews on it. All of them were good. This, that, that, and the other. Maju's Maka. And I'm I, I'm calling them out. And I'm also talking about Amazon. Because I don't want you putting prime on nothing. And saying bestseller. And this, that, that, and the other. When maybe you don't know that. You know. Um, I understand that the police... You know, meaning the product police and all that. They can't be everywhere at all times. But what I'm saying is that it ought to be some people that's vigilant over stuff. Um, that's helping folks out a little bit. I'm not even talking about myself. I'm just talking about people that... Let me leave that alone. What I'm saying is today I'm sitting up here and I get an email alert saying that there has been a recall on this right here now like i said i haven't taken that much i read in the recall and they telling you to look up this and look up all these numbers and all this stuff but the fact that you called this particular product out and you put it in and you recalled that i had purchased the product and you sent that email to me you know Specifically with a big old thing up here, banner, talking about recall. All they did was solidify something that I had been talking about at the tail end of last year that I was going to be doing in the year 2020. Which means reduce all of this stuff right here because I really don't care what anybody says. Banners catchphrases, all that kind of stuff don't mean nothing to me. It, it really doesn't. 
And this right here just is taking me right along with my resolve. Because when I turn this bottle around, do you see all them little banners and stuff? We got the little vegan uh, thing on here, zero gluten. So you got your little gluten stuff on here. You got uh, something else on here. Okay, you got the vegetable capsule thing covered for the people that don't want to, you know, deal with certain uh, uh, roots and stuff encapsulated in uh things that are made out of gelatin because gelatin come from animals and all of this kind of stuff i understand where you coming from but we have to try and butt that stuff up against where we are and the climate that we're living in now where all it is about is the almighty dollar and these people do not care, meaning the pharmaceutical companies, meaning uh, physicians, healthcare professionals, whatever. Everybody, all the way down to Jim Bobo out in these streets is trying to get rich and they don't care if it's at the, at the cost of you losing your health, your whatever, and a little bit of your wealth because you're buying this stuff, okay? And I'm sure that... This little maca root in, a, in and of its little self ain't no different than we going out here buying dandelion root powder and stuff. And these dandelion weeds is growing up just as free and strong out in the yard. In other words, we're overpaying for a lot of stuff. So the thing is, if I'm going to pay this money, can you at least like try to guarantee that the stuff is safe? What the deal on the recall was, was that they can no longer uh, verify, I want to say, the safety of it or the, the, um, the verity of the content, meaning that it's actually all of this stuff that's portrayed by these uh, banners on this bottle. That's over there. Now, the thing that I had said at the end of the month, end of the year last year, was that my goal was that my food was going to be my medicine and my medicine was going to be my food in the year 2020 and beyond. Because I want to stop using all of this, as much stuff as I can stop using. There are some supplements that I have to have. I have to take them or I will have some issues, okay? Okay. Those things I am aware of and I know of. But some of this other stuff, okay. This is the fish oil that I take. I will continue to use this fish oil, okay. I think I told y'all before about uh, me and uh, the other uh, green drink that I was using that I actually liked. It had a better taste, but it also had a proprietary blend in it. And it was actually double the price of this. And my thing is, if this is something that I'm using every day, I don't want to have to pay double for it, number one. Number two, I don't want you telling me nothing about a proprietary blend. Because I want to know what's in my stuff. And I'm thinking if I'm paying $70 for a, a, a canister or something, I got a right to know what it is. Proprietary, for all I know, you could be grinding up some dirty socks, putting it in a capsule, or grinding it up, and it's a powder. Somebody else came out with a green drink today, and I'm going to leave it alone. I ain't going there because I don't want no mess. But anyway, I'm going to leave that alone. I will take this because I see down here that it is made with beets, oranges, and broccoli. And it's actually supposed to be natural. It got the whole banner of stuff over here too. And then in the back, it's got vitamin C. It's got folate. Uh, vitamin C is ascorbic acid with uh, organic orange. Organic again. Here we go. And then B12. Um, and uh, let's see, the iron in it and the beetroot. Okay. I will take this because I do need to build up my blood. That much I understand. Okay? I'm all right with that. But let me tell you something. When I get where I need to be at, I'm 
this may go the way of the dodo as well, okay? That recall made me really mad. And it made me mad because it's going to be somebody somewhere that's not going to open their email. It's going to be somebody somewhere that's not going to believe it. It's going to be somebody somewhere that's not going to get the email, but they're going to continue to order some of this stuff that, you know, because we got greed out here in the streets and somebody will order, you know, purchase stuff up and then start relabeling it and putting stuff like this on top of stuff and, and selling it because this is what we do. And when I say we, I'm talking about humans, you know, we... I don't know what this is, but I just felt like I wanted to, number one, I'm calling this out. And my next recourse is to figure out uh, what Amazon is going to do as far as refunding me my money. Because obviously you know that I purchased it because you sent the email to me telling me that I had purchased it. And so um, I uh, am going to do what I need to do to get my money back on that. And that's, that's just not going to go away. I'm not going to not do anything about that. But I kind of wanted to just kind of raise the awareness, y'all. We depend on labels too much. We really do. And I understand that there is some, 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 there is some things that we look at labels we have to. But I'm saying... You know, we really, really have to even be more vigilant. We have to be hyper vigilant about these things that we put inside our body for the sake of keeping our health intact and stuff. Because I'm telling you, we got food that's unsafe, recalls on that, you know, it's something in this and it's something in that. And I just keep saying it over and over again, mainly because it keeps happening so much. You know, that if you're not praying over your food, you might want to pray over your food. I think I said that at the beginning of this video. And if you don't know what Psalms 91 is, familiarize yourself with it. And speak it over yourself and over your family because this, this stuff is for real. We have folks that have to take blood pressure medicine and every five minutes is some type of recall on something. And then we get a brand new medication about some, about some type of health ailment every other day. Some of these medicines I have had to really school myself on, you know, but they're coming out so often now. And the way that they put this stuff out here so fast is because it is I personally believe that they're not doing the trials long enough for the adverse events to actually present themselves so that they can really make a, a, a decision whether or not the safety of the medication outweighs you know, and, and the need for the medication, I should say, outweighs the, the, bene the risk. So you got benefits basis you know versus the the risk of it and and that is a, a balance that really needs to be looked at so we get these medicines out here every five minutes they haven't had us a a, a a a trial this this uh substantial enough to see what's gonna pop up and i mean they just had something a weight loss medication i think it was and i I don't fool with stuff like that, but there are people that do, you know, and um, it, I think it was one of those ones that's supposed to make you feel full, and they were really touting all of this stuff, and they did a recall on it, I want to say two, three days ago, because why? They've been getting some cancer cases. When you get recalls, it's usually because the adverse events are stacking up and they are specific certain things like if you get people on that and you it's a new medicine that's really been approved but then you get a whole stack of people coming in with similar outcomes that are not good and unexpected um then they'll go ahead on and they'll do a recall something but it ain't always a recall because it's just like minoxidil is basically by trade a blood pressure medication. But what they noticed is when they were doing the trial of minoxidil, people started growing hair. 
So that's the reason why it became more like something that people are using for hair growth. But on the bottle, it will tell you that one of the side effects of using minoxidil topical is lowered blood pressure. So if you already running a normal or a low normal blood pressure and you go in here trying to sprout some hair on your head, you might hit the floor. But that's not what it started out as. So we have to really pay attention, y'all. That's all I'm saying. I didn't even mean to get all the way off over in there and do all this stuff. I need to go to the store. I got to get some water. And y'all, last night I roasted some asparagus. No, that's a lie. Not asparagus. I roasted some cauliflower. That was my first time ever having roasted asparagus. I'm in love. And I didn't put all that oil and stuff all over it. I just used a little bit of oil. Probably maybe a teaspoon at the most. Olive oil. That stuff was bomb. That's what I'm saying. But that, but I'm going to get me another head while I'm a uh, uh, cauliflower while I'm up here. But I got to go get some water. And um, it's something else. I don't know. I got a list back there. Not like y'all ask about that though, did you? Anyhow, that's that. I just wanted to come in here, do my little rant about this right here. Show y'all what I'm taking but as far as my, my, look at me, Omega-3. This here is a staple. I'll be using this. this. You need to dance with the one that burned you. That's the one that I started out with anyway. This thing right here, and then I have my multivitamin. And my calcium that I take. That's all I got. Toodles.